afternoon news for Thursday, August 30th. I'm Kevin Olenek. The Federal uh, Court of Appeal has overturned the Ottawa's approval of the Trans Mountain Pipeline. In a unanimous decision, the court says the National Energy Board's review of the proposal was so flawed that the federal government could not rely on it as a basis for its decision. The course of court also concluded that the federal government failed in its duty to engage in meaningful consultations with First Nations before giving the project a green light. Dustin Rivers from the Squamish Nation called the process flawed. Flawed that the consultation was inadequate, that the Trudeau government did not respect our rights as a people. Finance Minister Bill Morneau says the government has not reached a conclusion on the exact response to the ruling. As I said, we believe this project is in the national interest. We believe it's, it's critically important for our economy, critically important to allow us to diversify the markets, to get to international markets. We do know that it has to be done the right way, which means we will analyze this decision. It's a 275-page decision. Uh, Conservative leader Andrew Scheer says that this decision is uh, very concerning for taxpayers. This was a $4.9 billion acquisition uh, with no plan for completion. And today we find out that uh, the goalposts uh, have been missed again by this Trudeau government. Um, so it's, uh, they're going to they're gonna have to answer those types of questions. And BC Premier John Horgan tweeted that many British Columbians have been saying that the Trans Mountain Project would create serious risk to our coast. Today the Federal Court of Appeal has validated those concerns. Vancouver Mayor Gregor Robertson tweeted that the Trans Mountain decision is a monumental win for the rights of Indigenous peoples and all of us who stand with them in firm opposition to a project that would massively increase climate pollution and put our coast at huge risk of oil spills. Alberta Premier Rachel Notley will be speaking live on TV 6 o'clock, Alberta time. Foreign Affairs Minister Krista Freeland says her team continues to hammer out a revised uh, NAFTA deal in Washington continue to bring goodwill to the table. Uh, There are a lot of complicated issues that we need to get through very, very quickly. Uh, And uh, we'll be coming back uh, quite soon. Freeland also said that the Trans Mountain decision will not affect NAFTA negotiations. Four suspects in a shooting that wounded a veteran RCMP officer Wednesday have been caught after an extensive manhunt in rural Manitoba. RCMP, including the SWAT team, did swarm a house in Nipawa this afternoon where a man was holed up after allegedly fleeing the scene of the shooting in Onale in a stolen truck. Uh, the commanding officer, Scott Colodi, spoke of his visit with the seriously wounded officer. Earlier this morning, I attended the hospital to join the officer's family and offer the support from the RCMP. And as you can, officer's family and offer the support from the RCMP. And as you can imagine, they are deeply shaken by this incident. And again, many people from across communities across Manitoba and Canada have reached out to offer support. So, According to media reports, the man was arrested 3.15 Manitoba time. In sports, Vancouver Whitecaps star Alfonso Davies is one of 23 players who will be featured for Canada in its first match for the upcoming CONCACAF Nation League qualifier. The 17-year-old, who was recently signed with the Bayern Munich Club in Germany, was the top scorer at the 2017 CONCACAF Gold Cup, scoring three goals for Canada. He also won the tournament's best young player. Canada faces the U.S. Virgin Islands in the opening match of the CONCACAF qualifying campaign September 9th in Bradenton, Florida. One week away, the NFL season begins in one week, but before that, one more preseason game for NFL clubs tonight, The Seattle Seahawks are in action, hosting the Oakland Raiders. In baseball, the Toronto Blue Jays are off tonight, but the Seattle Mariners do start a key series tonight in Oakland. The Mariners are five and a half games behind the Oakland A's for the final wild card spot. Vancouver weather, partly sunny this afternoon in 20, mainly clear with cloudy periods overnight in 13. For the Labor Day long weekend, we have a mix of sun and clouds in 19 Friday and Saturday, mainly sunny and 20 Sunday and Monday. That is the afternoon news for Thursday, August the 30th. I'm Kevin Olenek. Go to speaker.com, K-E-V-O-L-E, for more.